The action happens right now on Mari. The results from yesterday are in. Who will hear you are the father? We're going to find out if Duck is the father of Britain's two-year-old son, Joel. Two men. First she wants to be with me, then she wants Scotty. Right. Well, she she's can't confused. Have both. Which man is this little boy's father? She was pregnant at 16. Not his baby, she was a sneaky little whore. Will this teen find the father today? David. And even more shocking DNA stories. He thinks she's been cheating with members of his own family. Stop talking to my family members because I believe they slept with my wife. You ever cheat on him? No. Two kids. Is one his own family members? Roger. <laughs> The only time I have sex with Selena is when she paid me. There's no way that kid is mine. You paid him for sex. Look at him. Do it look like I would pay? If anything, he's going to be paying me. I would never. But is he the father? Joe. What? What? The results are unforgettable. And the results are in. This is Danielle. Danielle is furious that this man is denying he's the father of her four-year-old daughter. How pretty is she? See, Dan the moment she actually showed Ronald the pregnancy test, Ronald decided he needed space. But, but that did Ronald from secretly filling out the birth certificate in the hospital. It didn't stop him from giving the baby the name of Ronesia after himself, Ronald. And yo, she, he named your daughter. He named, yes, he did name my daughter. He signs the birth certificate, gives the baby the name, denies her. After that, after that, it was like a year later. Then the next thing I know, he's not dealing with her. He don't want to be bothered. What? Now, let's get to some serious stuff here. Please. Your daughter is now, what, four? She's four. She is four years old. She she's is... Beautiful. She's beautiful. She's a joy. She's beautiful. Ronisha, a great, my baby girl, that's, that's my little I, bet, I can my see diva. that smile on her face. I bet she's a great kid. That's my little diva. Has he ever told you why he's not the father? He said to me, to the effect of his family told him oh, that family. while he was away, right. They happened to hear that I was look cheating at the two on of them. them. You can look at both of them. Look at the baby. Look, look, look. She looks like me, but she looks like you know, hell. You know something? I don't normally, you know, throw in with they look just alike. No. How, however. Look at that. We want to meet Ronald, but he had this to say. Watch this. I am here today because for the past four years, Danielle be claiming that I'm the father of her daughter, Ranisha. I wasn't even sleeping with Danielle at the time she got pregnant. So how am I going to be the father of her child? At the time we broke up, she tried to tell me she was two weeks pregnant. How is that possible? I don't know much about pregnancy, but I do know it ain't that easy to get pregnant. I even found a letter that she wrote to another guy saying that she loved him. Maybe she should call him and bring him to the Mari show. When Mari read the results saying that I'm not the father, Danielle, you need to go look for your real baby daddy. Everybody, welcome Ronald. Here's Ronald. You coming on the show line. Just like you. coming on the show line Ronald. about everything, like man. Like what? Like what? Like, first of all, when yeah. I went to the hospital to see my daughter get born, right. well, Ronisha, right. she gave the bracelet to her mom, so her mom go back there with it, and I look on the incubator where the babies be at, and it said possibly for adoption. The whole time, me, my mom, and my sister, we tried to get custody of Ronisha. The last minute, oh, no, she want to take it. Why? I don't know. That's the first reason why I'm suspicious that she ain't my daughter. Okay, have a seat, Ronald. Now, That's me. the first reason. Why okay. would you put your own child up for adoption? I put my child up for adoption on, man, do the because math. I was dealing with a math. sickly child yeah. and I didn't want another baby man, at that time. Man, you do the math. Why would you put your child me up and you was living adoption. together in July Did when I got pregnant that? at my girlfriend's so. house. Huh? She ain't say nothing about that. Huh? Huh? Ronald, you put it out there. Ronald, Ronald. Yes. Why did you think she was lying about her pregnancy? First of all, Mari, 
we was together, right? Yeah. Then we was breaking up and getting back okay. together. Right. This time I broke up with her. I'm like, I'm done. She come at me, tell me she two weeks pregnant. Ah. And you also, I guess, heard rumors, right? Man, Members in your family? I found stuff, too. I ain't just hear rumors. Okay. What did you find? The whole time I was away, right, Mar? Yeah. But I stayed in contact with the phone. Right. You know what I mean? She told me she ain't doing nothing, blah, blah, blah. But right. check my, my, my family members is telling me otherwise. But you know something? I think you're a stand-up guy. If you are the father, you'll take care of this child. Man, the daughter will be in my life. Okay. If she right. Right. Well, let's find out. When it comes to four-year-old Ranisha, Ronald, you are the father. Don't you wonder what you baby. Now, wait a second. Let me tell you one thing, Steve. If you want him in your child's life, you can't get up into his face. You got to allow him a chance to get in her life, okay? All right. All right. Remember, Mendy, one year ago, Mendy's shocking secret broke Rodney's heart, and we were all shocked to find out that Rodney was not the father of Mendy's one-year-old daughter, Kaylee. This time, Mendy came back because she gave birth to a new baby boy named Rylan, and she didn't know whether Rodney or her ex-boyfriend, Scotty, was the father. Watch. I broke Rodney's heart last time we was on the show, and when we got home, he broke up with me. Soon after I met a guy named Scotty, I found out I was pregnant. Scotty was so happy because it would be his first child. I made a terrible mistake. I cheated on Scotty with Rodney, and I'm not sure who's the father of my son, Rylan. I was terrified that Scotty would leave me, and he did. Now Scotty and Rodney both want to be the father of my son. You found out you were pregnant. Who were you with? Which guy? It was Scotty. Scotty. Did Scotty think he was the father? Oh, yeah. He, he, at first, he thought he was the he was father, but he wasn't for sure because he had an accident when he was younger. Oh. That he, the doctor said that he might not be able to have kids. Scotty's crying right now. He wants to be the father. Guess what? Rodney wants to be the father, too. Now it was time to hear from Scotty, who desperately wanted to be this baby's father. Take a look. I'm hoping and praying today that I find out that I am the father of Mindy's one-month-old son, Rylan. I was once told I couldn't have kids, and finding out I'm the father of Rylan would mean the world to me. I feel in my heart that I am Rylan's father. He has my nose and my same exact ears. If I find out today Rylan is not my son, my heart will be broken into pieces. So this, this is your miracle baby, you hope? Yes, I hope so. She thinks that you can't get back together with her unless you're the father, is that right? No, it's not right. It's not right? No, I'll stay with her no matter what. You might not be the father. I mean, I love her other three kids, too. Like, they're mine. What do you think of Rodney? I mean, he's a good guy. I mean, he takes care of his kids, you know. Just, and, you know, I just hate him, though. Just, you know, he probably messed up my chance to have my first son. We still needed to hear from Rodney, who was burned by Mendy once before. I honestly do believe that Mindy's little boy, Rylan, is mine. I love Mindy and I want to be with her. I hated the fact that Mindy was with Scotty after we broke up. He's not right for Mindy and he'll never be. It would make me sick if Rylan turned out to be Scotty's son. Why don't you want him to be the father? He just ain't fit to be a father. Why not? You don't know that. Yes, I do, man. Well, okay, then why'd you run off and leave her for? How'd you Why? find out Kaylee wasn't Why? yours? Why? Because it matters about trust, dude. If you don't have no damn trust, there is no damn trust there, man. Don't you understand that? Okay, then why do you keep running back for? Because she has my kids. I love her and my kids. <laughs> because here's, here's how it is. First, she wants to be with me, then she wants Scotty. Right. It can't, she, well, she she's can't confused. have both. She's, she's confused. She doesn't have both of you, and you just don't understand how I feel about both of you. So, who fathered Mendy's new baby boy, Scotty or Rodney? It was time for the paternity test results. When it comes to one month old Rylan, Rodney, you are not.
When it comes to one month old Ryland, Scotty, you are the father. Thank you. Thank you. Just remember, you have children. Son. Yeah, you promise that you're gonna be there for me? Yeah, I promise always, but that's my only son. That's all I got, and I got you and your kids, and that's it. I just want to be me and you. That's all I want. I promise. <laughs> the results from yesterday are in. Just five minutes after they finished making love, Brittany told Doug that she was pregnant. That's crazy. You. Cool, cool. In five minutes, I found out that I was pregnant. Maybe you were sick stomach. because... No, you... I was sick from his nasty... <laughs> was she right? Duck. <laughs> he thinks she's been cheating with members of his own family. Stop talking to my family members because I believe they slept with my wife. You ever cheat on him? No. Two kids. Is one his own family members? Roger. <laughs> the results are unforgettable and the results are in. Who could forget 18-year-old Brittany? Brittany was hell-bent on proving to a man named Duck that he was the father of her two-year-old son, Jewels. Now, what made this story different was that Brittany claimed she knew she was pregnant five minutes after sleeping with Duck. Now, as you can imagine, this gave Duck all the ammunition he needed to deny this child. First, we heard from Brittany. In five minutes, I found out that I was pregnant. Really? Five minutes. Well, I was maybe sick you were sick stomach. because you, maybe no, you No, I were... was sick from his nasty <laughs> what I was sick <laughs> You felt you knew that you were pregnant. Right? I knew I was pregnant, and I was pregnant by him from day one. Okay. From day one. Well, you know what he said when you told him that. I don't care what he said. He like, said he said were... he was going to take care of mine, and that's what I for him to do. All right. All right. All right. baby on my 17th birthday. Me and my son got the same birthday and I was straight hurt for that. He didn't call or nothing. Come on now. If you, you don't want to like call me, you think they they look alike? Yes, they look alike. Eyebrows. My son looks like him. Now it was time to meet Duck and hear all the reasons why Duck was ducking his responsibilities as Jewel's father. Watch. Ain't no way in hell I'm bringing baby daddy. It was a one night stand. Five minutes after we had sex, she told us she pregnant with my baby. That's crazy, you cuckoo. I know for a fact Brittany had sex with somebody else because I woke up to her doing it in the same bed with me. When this test proves I'm not your baby daddy, I'll be sure to see you on the next episode. What's good, Stop. right? What happened? Man. Five minutes after you did? Five minutes after we got done doing what we did. I told you. She told me I she told pregnant. you. If I read that you're the father, you're going you to take care of that child. I ain't got no choice. My family ain't going to let me not. So, was Brittany able to tell that she was pregnant five minutes after sleeping with Duck? I had the results in my hand. <laughs> it comes to <laughs> your old Jewels. Duck, you are not <laughs> the father. great kid, all right? I'm sure he is, and you're a great mother. And if you want us to help you, we will. This is Rosemary, everybody. Now, Rosemary's been in love with this man, Roger, for the last four years. They have two beautiful children together, Sarah and Roger. 
But you see, their life is far from perfect. You see, not only does Roger suspect that Rosemary is cheating on him with members of his own family, he also denies he's the father of both of these kids. Before we speak to Rosemary, watch what Roger had to say. I've been with Rosemary for four years, and deep in my heart, I believe she's been cheating. I also believe that Sarah and Roger are not my kids. From the first day I met Rosemary, I believe she was having sex with other men. I have heard rumors that she slept around with my own family members. All of my suspicions are tearing me up inside because I want to be with Rosemary and I want to be the father to these children. Today, I need to know these answers. I need to know the truth. When I look into my daughter's eyes, I see my family members' eyes instead of mine. I stopped talking to my family members because of this, because I believe they slept with my wife. I love my family more than anything in the world, and I don't want to lose them. This is crazy. <laughs> You're smart. You hear about this all the time? Yeah. I've For four wanted. years? Yeah. Why'd you just walk away? <laughs> because I have nobody. I choose my family over him. <laughs> Why didn't he trust you? <laughs> because his family members only think about me sleeping around on him. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's the family members that are stirring up the pot. <laughs> yeah. But he thinks you've been sleeping with the family members. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, he thinks your kids are his family members, kids. Yeah. You ever cheat on him? No. Never in my life I love him. Oh. I love him with all my heart. I never choose my family over him. How many times has he accused you of this? Every day. Every day? Yeah. So here's what we did. We did a DNA test, right? Yeah. What are the chances that I'm going to read that he is not the father? I'm 2,000% sure those kids are his. You're going to meet your man now. This is your husband of four years, right? Here's Roger. Roger, come on out. More. You love this woman, and Absolutely. you make these accusations of her. You already think about yourself. Those, you know how those kids look like. You, that's why I brought you today on the show, just for you to get the DNA test and the results of the lie detector test, because I'm tired. I oh, yeah. So, so Rosemary kind of let the cat out of the bag. We're going to do the DNA test, and we're going to do the lie detector test. Yeah. Roger, who's putting you up to this? Is it your family who's driving you to this? Today? Well, Maury, yeah. it's my family, yeah. it's her own family, and it's my friends who's been putting me up to this. From day one, from day one, they told me not to get with her. Really? Because she was no good. Then why did you? I didn't believe her. I didn't believe any of them, Maury. I thought she was something special. That's why I got with her. Well, you're beginning to believe them now, are though, aren't you? Like I'm you have a guilty a face in your Okay. Why would your own family I'm never not. tell me that? Roger. Let me tell you. We're gonna straighten this out right now. We've got the DNA test, we got the lie detector test. Your kids, so you if this DNA test come out the day yours from this day forward, I want to take responsibility. I will. Don't worry. Roger. But, do, you, do you treat <laughs> like they're not yours? Yes, I do. You but do? There's, there's me that's telling. So me. you're distant with those kids? Absolutely. Oh my God. <laughs> so first we're going to do the DNA test because that's the most important, thing. and then we're going to do the lie detector. Now I don't know who's right here, but I want to believe Rosemary. When it comes to two-year-old Sarah, Roger, you 
are the fall. <laughs> So for two years, you've been distant to your own daughter. Yes. When it comes to... When it comes to eight-month-old Roger, Roger, you are the father. <laughs> this all to rest. Now come on back here and finish this. We're, we're going to do the lie. We're going to do the lie detector test. Roger, have you apologized yet? <laughs> Sit down, Roger. Here are the results. We asked you, Rosemary, have you ever cheated on Roger while he was at work? So that's when you say when he's at work, right? You said no. The lie detector determined that was the truth. We asked you if you've ever cheated on Roger with any of his family members. You said no. The lie detector determined that was the truth. And we asked you, all encompassing, we asked you, have you ever cheated on Roger? You said no, and the lie detector determined that's the truth. So Roger... You have a lot to make up for. No. And you have a lot. And... Please forgive me. I forgive you. There's no more. All right, I swear on that. You forgive him. All right. Now you go have a happy home, okay? And Roger, get these thoughts out of here. We'll be back. Will she test another man? The answer is coming up. The results from yesterday are in. She was pregnant at 16. David and his mother took her in until rumors about other boys spread through the high school halls. Now I'm 18 years old and I'm raising my baby on my own. Stop playing! Stop, 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 stop. Not his baby. She was a sneaky little whore. Will this teen find the father today? <laughs> The results are unforgettable, and the results are in. Remember 18-year-old Kenya? Kenya came to the show to prove to this 17-year-old named David and David's mother, Vita, that he was the father of her one-year-old son, David Jr. David and his mother, Vita, were such an important part of my life, but they turned their backs on me and my child. Now I'm 18 years old, and I'm raising my baby on my own. Kids from high school was telling David that I was cheating on him. I told David that I was with him and no one else, but David didn't believe me. Now him and his mother denying my son. I am not a whore, and when the truth of the DNA test comes out, Vita better apologize. You think they look alike? Yes, I do. She even look like her. Really? No, they yeah. don't. Yes, he do. That baby look just like you. After I get these results and prove that David Jr. is David's son. Like and stop playing that stop, 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 stop. As you can imagine, 17-year-old David and his mother Vita had a very different story to tell. And they both insisted that this was not David's baby. He was a cool girl at first, but she came on real strong, real fast. Then Kenya came and told me she was pregnant. That girl never even let me come to her house. So God knows what she was doing when I wasn't there. I started hearing rumors that she was always seeing guys behind my back. That's when I became sure this wasn't my baby. I love Kenya. I took her into my home and treated her like she was my own child. I even gave her a job, and she betrayed me and my son. When Maury says my son is not the father, my son could finally have his life back, and we could be through with this drama. Kenya, that is not my son's name. You know that's his baby. You know that's his baby. You know that's his baby. Why are you so upset? Because he is messing my son's life up. That is not his baby. She was a sneaky little whore. Vita, what, what happened? What made you change your mind? We had already heard rumors. Then she told David it wasn't his baby. This is 
that's true. I can't wait because once we hear these results, yep. I want you to get out of my son's life forever. So, was Kenya right? Was Vita about to find out that her 17-year-old son David was a father? Here were the results. When it comes to one-year-old David Jr., David, you are the father. <laughs> She'll change her attitude, okay? And she'll be there. I don't know what to say. I know you're a person of your word, okay? Now, that's your grandchild, all right? And now, I, I know both of you all want to want to do better when it comes to relating to each other, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? Okay? That's your child. That's your grandchild. All right? I apologize, can you? Okay. With Selena is when she paid me. There's no way that kid is mine. You paid him for sex. Look at him. Do it look like I would pay? If anything, he's gonna be paying me. I would never. But is he the father? Joe. The results are unforgettable, and the results are in. This is Selena, everybody, and Selena says. All she ever wanted from her ex-boyfriend, Joe, was to take care... <laughs> All she ever wanted was for Joe to take care of her now seven-month-old son, Cyrus. Now, from the moment her baby was born, he had problems. Because the baby was born blue because of a lack of oxygen. He had to be resuscitated. Joe was nowhere to be found. That is why... That is why Joe has decided to abandon baby Cyrus. Take a look. There's no way I'm the father of Selena's baby. I was in another state when she got pregnant. Unless I mailed her my sperm, there's no way that kid is mine. The only time I had sex with Selena is when she paid me. No pay... She still calls me and offers me money for sex. But it ain't happening. Selena, you know I'm not the baby father. Don't even have my last name or look like me. You need to go find your baby daddy. Stop calling me, text me, just leave me alone. Oh, my God. Look, look at my baby. Look at my baby. Selena. Look, look at my baby. My baby look just like me. He don't look like Joe. Nothing. My baby look dead on me. Okay, but Selena, Selena, you paid him for sex. No, I'm sorry, no. No. Look at him. Do it look like I would pay? If anything, he's going to be paying me. I would never, never, ever, ever. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Let me tell you, boy. Two days before we came on this show, he calls me. Uh, can you buy me a fit? I ain't got no fit to wear to the show. You don't take care of what I look like. Calls the baby loose neck. He need to call himself loose neck. Look at him. Okay. Look at him. When he first saw the baby, what did he say? He looked like his son that passed away. Look at my baby. Look at him. And he's had some problems, right? Yeah. He came when he came out, Maury, he was not breathing at all. He was blue. They tried their best to. They tried their best to get him out and do what they did, and they did it. And they stretched his arm to where he couldn't move it at all, and his right arm. So he's just now getting feeling back in his arm. Do you think that sorry tramp of do anything for him? Do you think he called Ash about anything? Does he know anything? all the problems? He know that... everything. He know everything. So he call and ask me for money. When I be like, your son need diapers, he need wipes. I ain't got it, I ain't got it. But turn around and ask me for something. But he can go buy beer, cigarettes, and everything that's... <laughs> no, no. I've been, I've been taking care of my son since day one. Well, we're going to meet Joe. Here's Joe. Joe, come on out. <laughs> Choice. 
Go, sit down here. I want to hear this story. When she says that she conceived this child, where were you? Okay. I was in Washington. Are you serious? What? You serious? You wasn't? Oh, Hold my on. God. Oh, my God. Are you, talking... you were staying with me. You were well, staying with me. Why don't you do anything for that baby? I don't do nothing for it because I don't think it's mine. Really? So why are you calling me like, can I see my son? My son is my son that. Why? If it ain't yours, Come don't call. Now. Don't Yo. ask about Come it. On now. Don't mess Come with him. This. Selena paid you for sex. Yeah, she gave me money. Keep, keep, excuse me, Martin. Keep it real. You keep, keep it, it real. real. I pay what? you. I pay you. Come on now. Keep it real. I was living for keep the, it uh, real. last two years. Come on now. We're gonna find out. Let me my result. Hey, Joe. Yeah. You can take care of this child if it's yours, right? Yeah. Okay. No, hey, no. when he sleep in the bed, he Good. Oh. When it comes to eight-month-old Cyrus, Joe, you are not the father. What? 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 You are not the father. What? Oh, God. But check this out, though. Check this what? out. You don't do my son. You don't do nothing for my son. Celine. We'll be glad to help you find out who the I'm good. I'm good. They have three kids, but Troy says the two youngest are not his. He wants nothing to do with them. Those two boys are not my kids. Troy? That's gotta be wrong. It's gotta be wrong. I told you. The results are unforgettable, and the results are in. This is Amanda. Now, today, Amanda is knee-deep in DNA drama. But drama really is nothing new for Amanda because, sadly, her life has been filled with turmoil since the day she was born. Watch. Struggling with a severe learning disability and living in and out of foster homes, Amanda never felt like she had a true place in life. As a child, going from house to house, it was really hard not feeling like I belonged anywhere. Then at the age of 16, Amanda met Troy, a man 20 years older than her, and she thought her life was about to change for the better. Troy let me move in with him, and I was really happy at first. Then Troy, for hours, was leaving me alone with his kids to watch him. I felt more like his babysitter than I did his girlfriend. Just when things couldn't get worse for Amanda, Troy started to deny their two youngest son. Troy don't help me at all with the kids. Troy's now denying the fact that they're even his kids. All I want is Troy to be a father to his sons. Struggling every day to get them what they need. I have no one. You all have three kids together. Yes, we do. Right. And the oldest, he doesn't deny, right? No, he, he says the oldest is his. Well, why the next two? Did he ever give you a reason? No, nope, he just walked out of their life. You think they, those kids look like Troy? Yes, they're 100% him. Yeah. Is, he, is he involved in the oldest child's life? Yes, he takes them on weekends all the time. Oh, he does? Yes. But he won't take these two? No, he wants nothing to do with them. One of your children are sick, isn't he? Yes, Jacob's very sick. He's got a lot of stomach problems in and out of hospitals. I tell him about it, he don't even care. But you're positive he's the father of these two kids. I'm 100% positive. They look right. identical to him. Right. Time with me, Troy. This is what Troy had to say. Amanda's two boys, Isaiah and Jacob, are not my kids, and I'm here to prove it. When things are good, Amanda says that Jacob is mine, and when things are bad, Amanda says that Jacob isn't mine. I'm confused. I know Amanda was with another man when she got pregnant with Isaiah. Amanda meets guys off the internet all the time. One of them may be the father. I'm trying to move on with my life. She should do the same. After today, Amanda needs to find the real fathers of her children and leave me and my family alone. Everybody, please welcome Troy. Here's Troy. <laughs> What are you so upset at? What are you angry at? 
Because she's been got... done doing nothing but lying and deceiving really? since the beginning. And what? Oh, no. But if these two don't turn out to be mine today, you can bet we're going to be back here for more DNA on, on the, the oldest one. On the oldest one. I'm not one to sleep strong. You take off. Either one of these are your children? No. She was with another guy living over 100 miles away. Did she ever say away. to you that, that they weren't your kids? She has told me Jacob is not mine. Oh, I see. Well, we're going to find out about these two right now, okay? We'll find out if you want to take care of them. When it comes to three-year-old Jacob, Troy... Two kids is Troy the father. That's got to be wrong. That's got to be wrong. I told you. The results are unforgettable, and the results are in. Struggling with a severe learning disability and living in and out of foster homes, Amanda never felt like she had a true place in life. As a child, going from house to house, it was really hard not feeling like I belonged anywhere. Then at the age of 16, Amanda met Troy, a man 20 years older than her, and she thought her life was about to change for the better. Troy let me move in with him, and I was really happy at first. Just when things couldn't get worse for Amanda, Troy started to deny their two youngest sons. Troy don't help me at all with the kids. Troy's now denying the fact that they're even his kids. All I want is Troy to be a father to his sons. You all have three kids together. Yes, we do. Right. And the oldest, he doesn't deny, right? No, he, he says the oldest is his. Well, why the next two? Did he ever give you a reason? No, nope, he just walked out of their life. Is he involved in the oldest child's life? Yes, he takes them on weekends all the time. Oh, he does? Yes. But he won't take these two? No, he wants nothing to do with them. But you're positive he's the father of these two kids. I'm 100% positive. Man, those two boys, Isaiah and Jacob, are not my kids, and I'm here to prove it. After today, Amanda needs to find the real fathers of her children and leave me and my family alone. When it comes to three-year-old Jacob, Troy, you are not the father. <laughs> Told you. That's and when it right. comes to eight and a half month old Isaiah Troy, you are not. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. You want to come back for the oldest one? Yes, I do. Amanda, if we, if you, if you want us to help you find out who the fathers are, we'll be glad to. You know what he wants to do now. What? He wants to find out a DNA test on the oldest. Yeah. You want to come back for that? Yeah. Okay. You want to you want to tell him anything? I'm sorry. I blame the kids on you. I could ask out there, but I want to know if Dakota is actually mine too. Okay. He was home since the father. I didn't think there's anybody else. Not. Will she test another man? The answer is next. Results are unforgettable, and the results are in. Just five minutes after they finished making love, Brittany told Duck that she was pregnant. That's crazy, you cuckoo. You are not. After those shocking results, we spoke to Brittany and she says she does not want to continue her search for the father of Jewel. She's going to concentrate on being the best mother she can be, and we wish Brittany the best of luck. on Mari. Fury's unleashed. I told you, baby! I told you! And 
the family drama reaches its boiling point. Selena is 47 years old and wants a DNA test to prove one thing, that her fiance is not the father of this 20-year-old woman's baby. Oh. It's not his baby! This the is his baby! baby. No. No. Please, little girl! You, you need to step you. out! You, you the results are in. If I find out that's your baby, I'm out! Did her fiance make a baby with this much younger woman? Thomas! <laughs> Brian denies Victoria's baby for two reasons. Blonde hair and blue eyes. Bring them out! Bring them out! Bring them out! After the DNA test, can they become a family again? I love you. Why are you doing it? Or will it be torn apart forever, Brian? <laughs> this woman wants Marlon to stop denying their son, Makai. And there's another person here on Marlon's case, Baby Makai's grandmother. My mom is here. That's right, I'm here. The results are in, and what happens is unforgettable. Marlon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Plus, one giant secret. I slept with your friend. And two DNA tests. Is Josh the father? Josh. Josh. The conflict. He's a liar! He's a liar! The drama. What makes you so upset about this? Starts now. Everyone, this is Selena. Welcome Selena to the show. Now, when Selena met her fiance Thomas two years ago, she not only fell in love with him, she fell in love with his five-year-old son, Louis. So, uh, supportive of Thomas's relationship with Lewis's mother, Sasha, Selena didn't think twice when Thomas would leave for hours uh, to go spend some time with his son. Until one day, little Lewis, the five-year-old, his son, told Selena he caught his mommy and daddy doing something shocking. Oh. What? What, what did he say he, she, they were doing? Caught them doing the nasty, Maury. He caught them doing the nasty. This girl is in and out of my life. I'm tired of her. Thomas is my man, and Sasha needs to know today to back away from me and Thomas. Wait a second. There is another aspect to this story that really confuses it. And that is... Me and Thomas had an argument during the Easter break. He admitted that he had a one-night stand with Sasha. Six months later, Sasha calls Thomas and tells him that she's pregnant. Uh-oh. Okay? I know for a fact that Thomas baby. is not the father This is Sasha's his baby. baby! Sasha is nothing but a whore and a tramp. Know your place. Leave Thomas alone. He does not want you. Finish. Except Leave the fact that alone. he does not want you. Fire. It's not his baby. You're nothing yes, but a whore. Yes, you're it is his baby. baby. You need to back off. No, you're you play. need to back off. No, you're oh, yeah. a place. Oh, yeah. his oh, yeah. baby. No, you're you place. need to back no, off. No, you're a place, little girl. Now, wait a second here. We got an age problem. Here's the timeline. Selena is 46. 47. 47. Thomas is 36. Six. Uh, Sasha is... 20, little girl, a 20-year-old little girl, a 20-year-old little girl. Now, we got this little child, Anthony, right? Yeah. You think that child looks like, uh, looks no. like Thomas? No, he looked like a little alien. No. He looks like what? A little alien. Uh -oh. That's terrible. What does Thomas think about all these actors? Thomas that? says that Sasha is a liar. liar. She already admitted well, to Thomas you, she slept you know, with six other guys. No. You know we've given Thomas a lie detector yeah. test. We're going to find out what's happening right here. Sure. Are you interested in that? Yes, I am. Bring it on. Bring it on. This is what Thomas had to say. I love Selena. She means so much to me, and I want to marry her. But right now, the wedding is off until I prove to Selena that Sasha's baby is not mine. I slept with Sasha one time. She said I slept with her more than once. That's a lot, and that's not true. As far as the baby goes, Anthony is not my son. 
She told me herself she slept with six other guys. I can't bleed a hole like that. She also lied to me in the beginning, saying that she was having a girl, but she had a boy. And if she could lie to me about that, she could lie to me about anything. I made a mistake by sleeping with Sasha, but I'm not gonna sit here and let her break us apart. I don't wanna hurt Selena, so today I'm here to prove that I wanna be there. No, I want to know the truth. Tell me, tell me the truth today. Here's Thomas. Thomas, come on out. Hey, Thomas. Hey, boy. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Tell me. Tell me, Thomas. Oh, well. I want to know. I want to know today. Thomas. If I want to know it today. Thomas. You want to tell this me your today. Woman. Yes, it is, Mark. You love her. Yes, I do. You want to be with her. That's right. Don't what are you doing with me, that bro. other woman? Don't. Well, she told me that my five-year-old son you was mine. You right. using her. So, you a liar. So, you a liar. I'm going to feel this with her, You a liar. For my son. I love Little my son. To see him. When I met him. Later, wait a second. I'm talking to Thomas. When I met, when I first met my son, I right. first thought it wasn't my son. But right. I got to dab to him, and I started, you know, feeling. So him. you love your son. Yeah. You like to be with your son. Yes, I do. And that's fine with Selena. Yes. But you, 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 you took it too far. Well. You slept with her once. Yes. Yeah, I slept with her. I regret it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna okay. find out today. Yeah, we're gonna find out today. Yes. Yes. We're gonna find out today. Yes. We're do you think Anthony looks like you? No, Maury. Huh? He don't even no. look like her. Okay, everybody, here's Sasha. Sasha, come on out. Here she is. I don't want her near me. 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 Know your, your place, girl. Know your place. Does that child look like... Uh... Yes, he does. No, no where? Looks yes, like Thomas. Yes, he does. Where? 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 He where? needs to step where? up where? and be a father. Where? Yes, where? he where? does. Where? He where? needs to step up. If you're the father of this child, you're going to take care of that child? Yeah, if he's my son. Yeah, that is. Did your five-year-old see you two do the nasty? Yes. You ought to be shaming yourself. That's the... Yes, yes he thing. did. That's yes, he did. Yes, he did. He's a liar. He's a liar. You're not your place, little girl. Look, he's a liar. You know your place, little girl. Your place, little girl. Your place, little girl. We have the results of the lie detector test with Thomas right here. We asked you, are you with Selena because she provides for you? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, my God! Are you serious? Oh. Are you serious? We asked you, have you told Sasha? Oh, my God. Have you told Tom, Sasha you that you want to marry her? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. We asked you... Oh, no. Oh, for real? How many times have you had sexual intercourse with Sasha since you've been with Selena? You admitted to having sex with her five times. Oh, the lie detector oh, test determined that was a lie. It was more than 20. Do you want to marry oh Selena? My God, this tramp. We asked we asked you, Thomas, if you yeah, wanted to marry Selena. You said yes. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh my God! Oh my God. Man. Oh. Gee, that's a lie, babe. But I care more about no, this. No, 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 no. Selena, what happens if he's the father? I don't know. I don't know. In the a case, winner, in the winner. case of one-month-old Anthony Thomas, you are the father. What you gotta say now? What you gotta say now? Why you bring me here? Why you bring me here? Oh, you lied all the time. Oh. Selena, you, if you want to work oh. on your relationship with him, that's fine. Oh. But you have to accept that little boy. Oh. That little boy is his. Oh. And he's got to have to take care of that little oh. child. All right? 
Okay? All right, Thomas, we'll take care of that. Okay. Coming up, the situation with these three gets out of control. Now step up and be a father! Be a father! Be a father! A father. Ryan denies Victoria's baby for two reasons. Blonde hair and blue eyes. Bring them out! Bring them out! After the DNA test, can they become a family again? I love you. Why are you doing this? Or will it be torn apart forever, Brian? Stop! Stop! Brian! They're gonna run for me. Are these men the fathers, or are they not? <laughs> Everyone, this is Victoria. Welcome, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria wants to clear her name. She wants to save her family. The man she was engaged to, Brian, believes that Victoria cheated and that their one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Aaliyah, is not his. Aww. Here's the reason. Aaliyah has blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> and they don't. And to convince Brian, Victoria, who never admitted to cheating, gave two other blonde-haired, blue-eyed guys DNA tests because he accused her of cheating with them. And just to get him off her back, she got DNA tests for these guys. So obviously those guys weren't the fault. So today Victoria is hoping that a DNA test will end the madness and she wants to reunite her family. But Brian has other ideas. Watch this. I devoted four years of my life to Victoria. I even asked her to marry me. When Victoria's true colors came through, you best believe I ripped that ring off her finger. She has stabbed me in the back over and over. She has cheated, she has lied, and she has used me for my money. Victoria is a bitch. She has already tested two other men. I'm just gonna be another number on her list. Four or five, that's how many times Victoria has cheated on me. That's probably the number of men that could be Aaliyah's father. Victoria, your blue-eyed, blonde-haired girl did not come for me. When them results come back, I look forward to a future without you. Whoa. I've never cheated that on That is not before. my kid. I've never cheated on Victoria. That is not my kid. Victoria, you know this. Whatever, whatever we're going to see, bring them out. Yeah, we will Let's see. Let's bring them out. We will see. Let's bring them out. can't breathe no. without you. Man, but look what she's been putting me through. What is happening? I haven't put you I mean, through she, anything. She You're listening to a rumor. You're listening to a rumor. Were they the guys. Were they the dad? Were they the dad? What, you know why she tested those other guys? Because you were pounding her all the time with these two other guys. Did you, did you, you heard stories? Is that it? Man, my called my call me and I was at work. Rumor. Called me and said she was out with some other guy. I never was. Who could that be? Who could that be? Whatever. You thought these other two guys were the fathers? Was I? Well, she was could've, I? She could have been with four or five other guys. Right. Who knows? Somebody else said that you told my producers that she's not yours because she makes certain facial expressions. <laughs> Like grins. I mean, it just like it just, what? Like what? Like, the it same grins, smile he like, makes. Creeps me out the like, same smile you know, he makes. That's why it freaks him out. Grins, it freaks him out because they look exactly alike. Look! 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 Brian, if this is your child, if this is your child, can you all get back together? Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll get back with her if, if you she's... Would? Yeah, I'll get back with her if she's my child, because well, I gotta be... Well, then let's go I gotta, I gotta When it comes to one-year-old Aaliyah, Brian, you are the father! <laughs> I never 
never lied to you about anything. I told you you were a dad. I will be there for Aaliyah, regardless. I'll be a man and take care of my daughter. Come here. I'm sorry I put you through this. Will you take me back? You will? This woman wants Marlon to stop denying their son, Makai. And there's another person here on Marlon's case, baby Makai's grandmother. My mom is here. My mom is here today. That's why I'm here. The results are in, and what happens is unforgettable. Marlon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are these men the fathers, or are they not? Everyone, this is Sean Quila. Welcome Sean Quila to the show. But Sean Quila sits here hurt, confused, because the man she thought was her soulmate, Marlon, not only denies her one-year-old son, Makai. How cute is he? Also, he insists that Sean Quila has had sex with four of his friends. He insists. According to Sean Quilla, Marlon first destroyed her heart, and then he tried to tarnish her reputation by calling her a liar and a cheater. But today, she is ready to set all the records straight and prove that she's not a cheater and that Marlon is Makai's father. How sure is he he's the father? Yeah, I know he's the father. That's the only man that I've been to. He knows damn well he's the father of my one-year-old son. He knows damn well. Yeah. And guess what? You're not alone in thinking that. No. Who else thinks that? My mom is here. My mom is here today. That's right. Because That's he knows. Right. She knows that I'm the father of my hey, daughter. I've, I've been struggling. She knows that I've been struggling. She knows what I've been through. And she's been my backbone since day one. Yeah. In fact, she's the one who's bought all the presents for Makai at That's Christmas right. time. That's right. That's right. She's bought everything. Every she bought them. presents, clothes. She's been there when he was sick, when he had a fever, when he was sick, when he had diarrhea up his back. Who was there? My mom. My mom. What about you cheating on him? He know. He know I didn't cheat on him. I've been faithful. I've been loyal, Maury, for three years. Guess what we did? We gave, we gave Sean Quilla a lie detector test to find out the truth. Everybody has to know the history. This is not the first time... That, that he's denied my son. Uh, this is not the first time that he's... Because you all have another child. Yes. And he did it with the older child. Yes. And what happened? Oh, he came back. He was 99.99% .99 the father. And we're going to find out today. This is what Marlon has said. I am so excited to set the record straight and prove to Sanquila that I am not the father of her son, Makai. Sanquila was having sex with four of my homies the time she got pregnant. And her son got the light skin texture of one of my friends. I even took the time to do the math. She must have been looking at the wrong calendar because the dates don't even add up. I wasn't even sleeping with her at the time. The only reason why she's doing this is because she know I'm a good father. We even have another son named Marjan, and I take damn good care of him. Her mom, Gwen, ain't nothing but a drama queen who need to mind her own business. Sanquila, I know you want to be with me, but you can take your fantasy somewhere else because it's not going to happen. Welcome, Mark. This is, man, what, come on, man. You admitted to it. You admitted yeah, right. to it. Come on, man. Yeah, right. I was talking to you about your co worker. You're, the, the, you're the, lying. Come on, man. You're You were sleeping lying. with the co worker. What is you talking about? Really? You told me you, the cab really? driver. What about the cab driver? Really? Though? Nothing. 
Let me get this straight. Uh -huh. Is there a possibility that he is not? There is no possibility. No. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? She wouldn't How even you leave know? him. How do you she know? She wouldn't even leave him. Come, Come on, on now. Pregnancy, baby, I was there. No. no. And by the way, I know, by the way, if Makai is yours, you'll take care of him because you take care of your oldest child, I, right? Yeah, I okay. will. I'll right. be there for him. But here's like, the line detector the test. We're getting to your four friends right now. <laughs> Sean Quayle, you were asked if during your relationship with Marlon you had sexual contact of any kind with any of his friends. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. You were asked, you were asked, asked if during your truth. relationship with Marlon have you ever had any sexual contact with any of your co-workers. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling. Oh, what? 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 Oh, what? what? Why would you right, tell me right, that thing? Right, Why would you right, tell me that? Right, Why would you tell me that? And you, were asked asked if, your you were asked if during your relationship with Marlon, other than the one time you admitted to, did you have sexual intercourse with a man other than Marlon? You admitted to our lie detector administrator that you did have sex with one other man. Yes, I did. I sure did. I did. I sure did. I'm more interested in Makai. Makai. When it comes to one-year-old Makai, Marlon, you are the father. What? What? Who's the father? Who's the father? Who's the father? Who's the father? No! You are the father! Who's the father? Who's the father? Who's the father? What? 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 One giant secret. I slept with your friend. Two DNA tests. Is Josh the father? Josh. Josh. You are the father. Oh Selena just found out her fiance has a newborn baby with another woman. <laughs> and backstage, the situation gets out of control. No, that woman, be a father. No, be a father. Be a father. Are these men the fathers, or are they not? <laughs> Everyone, this is Trish. Welcome, Trish. To the now, this is another situation where I am not fond of. When Trish was 29, she fell in love with a 17-year-old named John. They, they ended up getting married. But this older, younger romance backfired in Trisha's face when Josh started denying not one, but two of their children. Oh. Two-year-old Savannah, three-week-old Taya. Oh. So Josh says that Trish cheated on him with his friends and his elderly family members. Oh. Trish says Josh is just a baby. I guess. And all he does is play video games all day, and he should stop doing that to take care of his children. You say he's just a baby. He was a baby. He was well, a baby then when what I were him. you doing with oh! him? I know. I know. 
when we got together, I didn't know he was 17, first off. He lied, he lied. We were together three years, get married. I mean, he's he's my husband. It's not just a boyfriend, it's right. not just my baby's daddy. This I'm married to this man. Right. He's home every day, he walks past these kids, doesn't do anything with them, won't hold them, won't feed them, nothing. What does he do? Nothing. He goes to work, he comes home, he gets on the Xbox. Oh, that's what he does. That's it. Nothing else. Well, you else. see, I can understand having an Xbox addiction. <laughs> but you got to be like my son, 15, right? not with two kids right? sitting right? in the same house. Thank you, thank you. Right? 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 You should be playing My Little Pony with his daughters, not playing on the Xbox. Here's the thing I don't understand. You have two kids together. Yes. You live in the same house together. Yes. You do not commingle with him. No. You we do? are roommates. That's it. I mean, that's it. There's no marriage going on here. We don't have sex anymore. We sleep in the same room because we have to share a room. But that's it. That's it. He goes are to work. Are you going to get a divorce? Home. Yes. Really? I don't care what the results are. I'm done. I'm done with him. All right. Well, I can't wait for, to hear what Josh has to say, but this is what he told my producers. Trish needs to realize the only important thing in my life are my video games. I don't know why Trish thinks I would take care of two kids that aren't mine. If she wanted a sugar daddy, she should have married a guy 12 years older than her, not 12 years younger. Trish has slept with basically every man I know. She's been with my neighbors and family members, including one in his 60s. I even heard she was having threesomes behind my back. I made a mistake by marrying Trish but I won't make the mistake to give her money for kids that aren't mine. We are definitely getting a divorce when the results show I'm right. That's how this is going to end. All right, everybody, welcome Josh. Here's Josh. They don't, look, they like don't look like you. They don't look like you. Look Does at that. Does that look like me? Okay. Does that look anything like me? Look at this in They don't look much like me, Mike. Josh, have a seat, okay? You didn't think Savannah was yours. Why did you marry me after she's a year old? If you weren't sleeping with people, okay. everybody, where do you get these rumors about her, her sleeping with people? Who told My family, you? Maury. She says she's ready for a divorce. Are you? Well, it's, it's what it is. If the kids ain't mine, yeah. But if the kid's mine, she wants to work something out, we can. But if not, it's what it is. It don't matter if they're yours. I don't want if your damn ass no If they're no yours. More. I'll, I'll find somebody who's I'll, a real I'll, man I'll to take, take care of these kids. I'll take care of the kids regardless, if they're mine. Let's find out, okay? Is there anything you want to tell Josh? When you went to Indiana, I slept with your friend. <gasps> These are his kids. They are his kids. I'm a thousand percent sure these are his kids. Oh, Boy, that's why, that's that's why they're not my kids. Okay. You just heard it. She's okay. sleeping with people. Josh, when it comes to two-year-old Savannah, you are the father. <laughs> when it comes to three-week-old Taya, Josh, you are the father. <laughs> Just take care. Just take care of your children, okay? All right. You got you, Whether man. you all work it out or not, I'm sure you'll take care of those kids. Tiffany and Vincent have three children, but she was so fed up with his behavior. Vincent started to control me. She went and slept with his friend Jimmy. Oh boy. Did you got to come in and ruin my life? She gave me son. She gave me. One baby and two men. What's Jimmy, that? Vincent. Who's the father? What's, what's, what makes you so upset about this? Are these men the fathers, or are they not? <laughs> Everyone, this is Tiffany. Welcome Tiffany to the show. Now, <laughs> Tiffany, Tiffany and her boyfriend Vincent were together for eight years. 
They had three beautiful children together. I mean, the relationship is far from perfect, though, because Tiffany says Vincent is a controlling man. And at one point, Tiffany says, Vincent's behavior became so severe, she found comfort in the arms of another man. Vincent's friend, Jimmy. Then after that, Tiffany realizes she's pregnant. Now she is unsure if Vincent or Jimmy is the father of her now nine-month-old son, Vincent. This is her story. I was with Vincent for eight years, and we have two beautiful daughters together. Vincent started to change and started to control me. I felt like I was trapped in a cage. When Vincent and I had broken up, I had slept with Jimmy. I found out I was pregnant six months later. I don't know for sure if Vincent or Jimmy is the father of my son. Right now, I'm raising three kids by myself, and I shouldn't have to. If Jimmy's the father, I'm afraid my son is just going to be considered as another number to him because he already has eight other children. The only thing Vincent ever wanted was to have a little boy. And if this isn't Vincent's baby, it's going to break his heart. How many kids does Jimmy have? Eight. Eight kids. Oh, boy. Now, did you meet Jimmy through Vincent? Yes, they were friends. Originally, he was... So when you found out you were pregnant, you told both guys? Yes. So they knew all along that either one of them could be the father? Yes. But it's not just my fault. I didn't do it by myself. Okay. This is what Vincent had to say to my producers. Watch. Tiffany and I were together for eight years. We have two beautiful kids together. And I thought the relationship was great. I want to be Vinny's dad because I'm a good father, I'm a good dad. When Tiffany slept with Jimmy, who's supposed to be my friend, it broke my heart. I hope that I'm baby Vinny's father. Jimmy's a low-life scumbag. He's already got 11 kids. Why would he want to come into my life and wreck my family? Well, I always love Tiffany, but I'll never forget what she's done to me. I really want little Vinny to be mine. He would be my first boy, and I've always wanted a son. Everybody, here's Vincent. Vincent, come on out. You don't want to sit next to each You were together eight years. You don't want to sit next to each other? No, sir. What's going on with you all? You all have at least two kids together, maybe three. <laughs> What is she, the matter with you? She just hurt me so many times, man. I don't, I don't know how to handle it. Like, literally ripped my heart out of my chest and danced on it, laughing at me the whole time. How do you get along with Jimmy? I used to think we were friends, and then I find out this stuff, and it's like, um... But wait a minute. Tiffany named Vincent after you. Because I'm a good dad, and she knows it. Vincent, take your chair, move it over there. And we'll bring out Jimmy. Here's Jimmy, everybody. Jump. Straight up jump. What's that seat doing there? Your home wrecker. Why is it over there? Because he don't need you to don't be around You don't want him next or... to you either. He don't need to be around my kids or nothing. Yeah. Jimmy, you. you don't think you got enough kids? You got to come in the <laughs> ruin my life. She came yeah. up. She came up. You're doing your job as a man. I wasn't doing. What I was with her for eight years. Got two kids. Enough. I wasn't doing my job. Yeah. 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 How long? Yeah. How long? How long you all your baby's moms. How long? What's your longest relationship? Five years each. Five years. Five years. Five years. Five years. Well, for eight kids, you got five seven, year relationship. Seven kids I had. Oldest. Oh, Hey, I tried hey, to get I got kids in college, boy. Yeah, I know so what you're know. saying. Boy, she's younger than me. She's 23. How old are you? Right. Does it matter? 40 what? Does it matter? 40, it doesn't 41? matter. It doesn't yeah. matter to you? It doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter to you, does it, it doesn't, Jimmy? Doesn't. That's right. Okay. You it's think you're the record. father of that child? I have my doubts. I have a feeling Vincent would be there for his kids if you'd let him. Yeah!
find out right now, okay? Because you're gonna want that child to have a father in his life. A okay? good father that will be there. Yeah. When it comes to nine-month-old Vincent, the results are next. What's Jimmy, that? Vincent, who's the father? What's what's what makes you so upset about this? You are the father. Oh! Selena just found out her fiance has a newborn baby with another woman. <laughs> and backstage, the situation gets out of control. Now, step up and be a father! Be a father! Be a father! Are these men the fathers, or are they not? <laughs> I was with Vincent for eight years, and we have two beautiful daughters together. Vincent started to change and started to control me. I felt like I was trapped in a cage. When Vincent and I had broken up, I had slept with Jimmy. I found out I was pregnant six months later. I don't know for sure if Vincent or Jimmy is the father of my son. I want to be Vinny's dad because I'm a good father, I'm a good dad. When Tiffany slept with Jimmy, who's supposed to be my friend, it broke my heart. I hope that I'm baby Vinny's father. Jimmy's a low-life scumbag. He's already got 11 kids. Why would he want to come into my life and wreck my family? You don't think you got enough kids? You got to come in to ruin my life? She came in yeah. She came in You were doing your job as a man. I wasn't doing what I was with him for eight years. But I'm seeing got two kids. Nuts. I wasn't doing my job. Yeah. 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 Well, find out right now, okay? When it comes to nine-month-old Vincent, Vincent, you are not. And when it comes to nine-month-old Vincent, Jimmy, you are the father. You better take care of that child. I'm going to. And all your others, Tiffany. Just, just go away. Act not like a bad now, pal. I'm here. here now for the rest of it. No, you're not. Quite honestly, I am. Watch. Watch who's the daddy, Jim. Watch and see. Watch. See who he calls I daddy. I will. See who he calls daddy already. He already called me daddy. What do you mean? Oh. Ask her. She sent it right, right to me. Where's my son? You are the father. Oh Selena just found out her fiance has a newborn baby with another woman. <laughs> and backstage, the situation gets out of control. Now step up and be a father! Yeah. Be a father! Be a father! Are these men the fathers, or are they not? <laughs> Earlier, 47-year-old Selena came to the show extremely upset that Sasha, who's only 20 years old, was claiming that Selena's fiance, Thomas, is the father of her baby. It's not his baby! Baby. This is his baby. baby. No. 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 Please, little girl. Thomas claimed he only slept with Sasha one time. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. But a lie detector test determined it was more than 20 times. Oh my God! Are you serious? Here you go. Oh my God! Here you go. But the question remained: Is Thomas the father of her baby? You know, what happens if he's the father? Thomas, I'm out. I'm out. Thomas, you are the father. Oh, my God! What you doing, baby? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! After the show, was there any way Selena could continue a relationship with her fiancé? You better be in it. No, step up and be a father. Be a father. You need to step up and do what you got to do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, all I asked you was to be truthful with me, you lied. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. It looks like this relationship is in serious trouble. Keep watching future shows for updates. Until next time, America. The 
action happens right now on Mari. Kendra has been a devoted wife to her husband, Richard. Only thing I did was be a good woman. But she's scared to death that her husband now has a child from an affair with this woman. If he is the father, what's going to happen? Bye-bye, Birdie. And in a shocking twist, he's now denying his wife Kendra's baby, too. Because my son don't have no features of him. I'm tired of being played by my wife in this two-night stand from hell. Two paternity tests and one marriage on the brink of divorce. Richard. No! 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 Claudia and her daughter Ellen are back for the fifth time to test two more men for the father of baby Cheyenne. You don't yes, want to stop. Him. I'm gonna find the baby's dad. I admit I slept with Ellen, but so did everybody else in Oklahoma. Two men. Which one is the father? and more shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. The only reason Dominique is saying it's Valentine's baby is because she's trying to break us up. He doesn't want you, he got me. A rebound, that's what she is. You think you look like that child? Honestly, I don't. Valentine. It's an unbelievable hour of paternity drama, and it happens now. Everyone, this is Kendra. Now, Kendra's marriage is falling apart. See, it started when Kendra discovered that she was pregnant while her husband, Richard, was away on business. And, and then, when she delivered the news, instead of being happy about it, Richard started accusing Kendra of cheating. And then, and then he immediately began to deny their baby, Richard III, What's worse is, because of Richard's suspicions, he turned around and cheated on Kenra oh. with, with this woman, Corrine, see? And now, now Corrine claims that her son, Emmanuel, belongs to Richard. Oh. This is Kendra's story. I met Richard, I thought we was gonna have the perfect life, the perfect family, but he screwed all that up for us. The first thing he did to mess up our marriage is to deny our son. He claims when he was out of town that I cheated and got pregnant. I never cheated on my husband and I'm positive that he is the father because he thinks that I'm cheating. He went out and cheated with another woman named Corinne. He got her pregnant and that was mistake two and three. Richard believes that Korean son is not his. He better be right. If I find out today that Korean baby is his, I am gone. So, so Kendra is here, not only to Richard that he is the father of her son, she's also here to find out if Richard fathered that baby with another woman, and she says if he did, she's gonna file for divorce. <laughs> Kendra, you're positive he's the father of I you. am positive. Only thing I did for this man was be a good woman. That's it. If I wanted to cheat on him and be out here making babies, I would've did that. He's denying my son because my son don't have no features of him. Really? I can't help that. He looks like me. All in the face, he looks like me, his mom. And that goes to show that my genes are stronger than yours. That's why he doesn't look like you. Richard says, because... He's away driving the truck, right, or something like that? Is that what does he do? He was over the road, and at the point in time, I was with him 24-7. Then I found out that I was pregnant. So after a while, I got off the truck and stayed at home. Right. But he thinks that I cheated on him. While and it's he was not away. Him. While yes. He, while he was on the truck. Yes. Uh, I see. When did you find out he was with this woman? I didn't find out this till years later. So we started getting child support papers in the mail really? about another child.
He denies that child. Yeah, too. he denies it. He said, all So he things. denies both kids. Yeah. If he is the father, what's going to happen? Bye bye, Birdie. Yeah. We spoke to Richard yesterday. This is what Richard had to say. Watch this. I love my wife, but I'm convinced that she's been cheating on me. And Richard III may not be mine. Because I suspected my wife was cheating on me, I cheated with a girl named Corinne. And now I got her saying that her baby's mine. I know this baby is not mine. She was living with another man, and I didn't even find out about the baby until he was two years old. I'm tired of being played by my wife in this two night stand from hell. Richard III is tall and skinny. I was never tall and skinny, I was short and chubby. Manuel was dark skinned. I'm like brown. I can't be his dad. Kendra, today I'm gonna prove that Kareem's baby is not mine. If the test results come back that your baby isn't mine, you can pack your bags and you and Kareem can become roommates, because I'm out. Here's Richard. Together, right? Yes, we do. Okay, so why you get all upset about her? Why you? Why are you into her face? Maury, I was out on the road. I'm a truck driver. You know, right. I know I'm going two, three weeks. And I was two, with you. I'm going two, three weeks at a time. You and know, I, I was with if you. If I get, you wasn't with me. You yes, with, I you, was. You That's when I found me. out. You wasn't with me. You know, I, I was, I'm going two, three weeks at a time. If I get lonely out on the road, I know she get lonely at home. Whatever. You know why? We, 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 we've been going. We've been together Whatever. for how long, Mari? Whatever. You know, I don't, I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have a local job where I come home every night. Why she didn't get pregnant then? She and get I pregnant so when I'm going to the about another time. man. I would have been with another man. Yeah, I would have yeah. never they, married they call, you. Son Richard, they call him Little Kendra. His name so is Richard. They call him Little Kendra. Like they said, oh, that ain't your baby. I can't help that. Yeah. 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 You really believe she's around on you? I think so, yeah. She lies about everything. And then, and then because of that, you messed around on her. Yeah, I made a mistake, you know, and but yeah. But it's not, it's not, it's not my baby, though. It's you not don't my, think it's your baby? No. She just, you love your wife, right? I love my wife. Love your wife. You know what she says if you're the father of that other child. What she saying, what she do is two different things, Maury. <laughs> you don't <laughs> from you. She ain't going nowhere, Maury. Yeah, okay. Huh? Okay. He can take that all he wants to. You can take that all you want to. By the if way, that baby comes if back you're the father of that home. other child, you take care of that child. Yeah, right? I, I take care of my responsibility, but it ain't mine. Okay. Now, this, this, one time. Thing. Yeah, she's an internet. Anybody out here could be her baby daddy. She was on the internet. <laughs> this is what she had to say to you, Kendra. Why? Kendra, just like you, I'm going to prove to Richard that he is the father of my son, Emmanuel. You need to know that he lied to me from the beginning and he is nothing but a doll. When I told him I was pregnant, he disconnected his phone and moved away like the coward that he is. I know the DNA test will prove that Richard is a father and if I were you, I would leave him alone. This is not the first time he cheated on you and you know that as well. So Kendra step up if that's your child and you will right all right yeah. okay all right if he is the father of this other child you're going to kick him out yeah, I'm, I'm leaving <laughs> well we're gonna find out right now about it You want to be the father of Richard III, don't you? Yeah, I better be the father. I've been around for this you long. Are the father. I better you be the father. father. It's gonna be. In the case, three-year-old Richard III, Richard, you are the father. <laughs> In the case of two-year-old Emmanuel, Richard, 
One more paternity test. Did her husband father another woman's baby? No! 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 Claudia and her daughter Ellen are back for the fifth time to test two more men for the father of baby Cheyenne. You don't yes, want to stop. Him. I'm going to find the baby's dad. I admit I slept with Ellen, but so did everybody else in Oklahoma. Two men. Which one is the father? <laughs> shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Ellen and her mother, Claudia. This is their fifth time on the show. Now, for the past two years, Ellen and Claudia have been trying to find the father of Ellen's daughter, Cheyenne. And look how cute she is. Now, today, they're going to test a fifth and sixth man. One of the guys is a mystery man. He refused to appear. And then there's a man named Bobby. Now, there's these men not tested before. And we're going to get to that in a moment. But first, take a look at their appearances on the show. Wilbur is a two-time jerk. He got me pregnant. He gave me an STD. And he walked out on me and my baby. Wilbur's a low lie. I'm the one that's getting my step down and store to buy pampers while Wilbur Chinese. Does it look like I'm from Chinatown? Wilbur, you are not. We were all shocked by these results. Shortly after that show, Claudia and Ellen came back with a second man to test. We were together for a month. I'm the one that goes gets her diapers. I'm the one that goes to the store. I am not the father. Richard, you are not. <laughs> Ellen and her mom, Claudia, came back to the show for the third time, desperate for a man named Doug to be the father. I'm 150% sure that he is the father. Doug, you are not. Oh, Soon after, Ellen and Claudia returned, this time convinced a fourth man named Chaz was Cheyenne's dad. You know Chaz said he had a vasectomy. I don't think it went right. Chaz is not the father. Oh. <laughs> so now we have two more men Bobby who's here and another man who refused to be here now Ellen ap apparently and you want to be able to explain this to people one of the reasons why there's such unsureness as to who the father is because there's been a medical development, apparently. Um, I went to the doctor. The doctor says that my pituitary gland is messed up. It's, it, it's part of your brain, and it tells you when to have a period and when not to. See, really? she didn't have a period. I see, did not have a period for at least six months. Six months. I see. So you don't know when the heck. So you don't know when the heck you conceived. Right. You think you I'm hoping he is because uh, why he lived with us off and on for eight years. What about this guy, Bobby? Well, oh, we, my God. He, he's an ass, okay? Wow. He, okay, put it this way. He's 40 years old, okay? He 45, lives off of not people. 40. Come on, now. If it is, then I'll step up. I'm going to tell you something. What about the first time you went out with my daughter? You, you said you was 23. You oh, my daughter. You lied. I lied. Yeah. But why would you let your daughter date somebody else and just right. take her to a motel room right. and drop her off? Oh. That's all right. This father of Cheyenne. If, if he is, you know what? He better step up. Watch your mouth. Because if he don't step if I up. We'll see. My foot's going to be up his butt. Is that right? Well, I guess it's time to meet Bobby. Yeah. No. No. What Bobby had to say. 
I'm Bobby. I'm the sixth man to be tested for Ellen's baby Cheyenne. I admit I slept with Ellen, but so did everybody else in Oklahoma. There's no telling who the father can be. Father should stay out of my business and help keep her daughter's legs closed. Cheyenne is not my daughter. She looks nothing like me. When the DNA test comes back and I am not the father, I want you all to stay out of my life. Here's Bobby, everybody. Welcome, Bobby. Here's Bobby. <laughs> Why not? Because it took him two and a half years to come and say something to me. I see. No, and we I were trying to house. find you last year. We were trying to find you last year, but your ass is hard to find. What? I live in the same house. I'll stand up. about Claudia what, what, what's the deal here how come this is oil and water what's going on I don't know they got an attitude towards it which is really kind of stupid to me but the way I look at this <laughs> if, it, if, you got got had, if you hadn't slept around we wouldn't be here then you yeah. asked me to marry you yes I you did. know what you're a sorry <laughs> thank you and now we're gonna find out right now We've had six possibilities, and we want it to end today. In the case of two-year-old Cheyenne, the man who could not be here. The fifth and sixth man tested. Two men. Which one is the father? Dominique is saying it's Valentine's baby is because she's trying to break us up. He doesn't want you. He got me. She's a rebound. That's what she oh. is. You think you look like that child? Honestly, I don't. Valentine. One more paternity test. Did her husband father another woman's baby? No. No. Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Dominique. Now, Dominique is filled with blinding rage, and it's directed at two people. Her ex, Valentine, and his <laughs> Betsy, see? <laughs> After breaking up with <laughs> Dominique found out she was pregnant with a baby that, according to Dominique, she and Valentine had been trying to have. <laughs> now, baby Nielly is now three months old. <laughs> But once Valentine moved on and got married to Betsy, Dominique says he and his wife refused to claim Nayeli as his child. Now we're going to talk to Dominique and first. Here's what Valentine and Betsy had to say. Watch. Dominique is out of her mind to think her daughter Nayeli is mine. That girl's a liar, a cheater, and she's just crazy. Dominique cheated on me with her ex around the time that she told me she was pregnant. He's probably the real father of her baby. The only reason Dominique is saying it's Valentine's baby is because she's trying to break us up. That is not going to happen. Leave us alone, stalker. I heard rumors that Dominique was already pregnant when I first got with her. Maury, you gotta call the man in the little white jacket because this girl is crazy to think she's gonna trap me. I am pregnant with Valentine's baby and Dominique is just jealous. It's pathetic that she's trying to come between us with another man's kid. I'm not your baby's father, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. What do you think of that? He knows that we planned that baby. He knows damn well that I was not pregnant when we got together. We'll, we'll see what the results say. We'll see what the results say, and we'll find out. Just so I can say you're my baby mother. Really? Really. That's what he said That's to you. exactly I'm what he said. I'm going to get you pregnant. Yep. That he's yep. going to get me pregnant so he can say that I'm his baby mother. And now, now look what he got. Now. <laughs> you, by the way, by the way, said at one time after you were pregnant that you might not go through with a pregnancy. Yep, I did because... My mother had passed away, and all he wanted to do was argue with me, argue with me, argue with me. So I said, you know what? 
I'm not going to keep the baby. That's it. Leave it at that. And I didn't talk to him. I was unsure. Then when I was three months pregnant, I called him and let him know that I was keeping the baby. And this thing right there <laughs> took the phone and decided to say that that's not his baby, that I'm just trying to come between Man, him. She ain't had nothing to do but with the it. Funny I, I'm thing person, is, yo. But the funny thing is, is that she didn't even know about me when they got married. Oh, really? That's why she's mad. It's oh. because she had no clue about me. Oh, so she he was seeing both of you at the same time. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey. Oh, he hell met her no. and married her two weeks later. She's a rebound. That's what she oh. is. A rebound. That's what she is. That's what she is. Mommy, can you just let me out? Yeah, bring him out. Bring him yeah, out. Right? Yeah, bring him yeah. out. Bring him out. Right. I'll bring, bring him out. out. Let's bring him out. We'll bring him out right now. Okay. We didn't plan the baby, right, Val? Take a seat. Right? You wanted to come out here, Valentine. Yeah, I did. Why? Because you want to counter it. Right? Exactly. Tell me. Exactly. Tell exactly. Me. exactly. Tell I don't, I don't have nothing to say with you, man. You escaped. You escaped. Oh, you cheated on me. Before we even I got did. together, you I was already pregnant. You. you was already pregnant. You telling me that you wasn't. Everybody in the where we live in New Hampshire knows you was pregnant, right? You going to tell me this is the second time you don't even know who the father is. Oh, really? Come on, who's the hoe? Really? You. You, 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 don't hate, don't hate, don't hate, don't hate because we married, yes. don't hate because we married. I'm mad because you married, let me tell you something, down, let me tell you Thank something, you. Yeah. you got a wife right there, exactly, what? exactly, three baby daddies, the fourth on the way, two, 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 that's me, that's me, that's me, three, three baby daddies, Valentine, you think you look like that child? Honestly, I don't. I think he, she looked more like the, the first dude she thought was her baby daddy. I'm gonna make sure I bring it real close for when these results come right. back. Go ahead, because I guarantee you, you touch me, and you're gonna get you ain't touch me. What you gonna do? You ain't Did you tell her to make her pregnant? At first, it was like that till I found out she was cheating on me with one of my. How about this? You asked me to no. have a threesome with you? When it comes to three-month-old Nayeli, Valentine, you are not the Linda and I are supposed to get married, but if I find out Liam's not mine, the wedding's off. Well, keep watching to find out the unforgettable <laughs> DNA results. <laughs> Richard, did her husband father another woman's no, baby? Really? No. <laughs> Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Linda. Last year, Linda was on our show with her boyfriend, Will, because she believed he was cheating on her behind her back. Watch. I fear that, that he might be with another woman. What'd you find in the laundry? I found a pair of thong underwear with a rubber duck on the front, and I... My biggest fear is having to tell my kids that the greatest man that's ever come into their life is gone. One deserves this. You ever cheated on her? No, not at all. The thong underwear that Linda found come from a woman you've had sex with. You said no. That was the truth. <laughs> Since you've been with Linda, have you ever had sex with any other woman? You said no. That was the truth. See? Thank you.
And they went home a happy couple. And they have a five-month-old son, Liam. <laughs> and they're supposed to get married. <laughs> but guess what? Will wants to call off the wedding. <laughs> because he believes Linda was cheating with men and women. <laughs> and Will is certain that he is not the father of that little baby. So we've given Linda's son, Liam, a paternity test, and we've also given Linda a lie detector test. We're going to have them both here, okay? <laughs> so you went home. Everything was great. Everything was great. We Just shortly after we left the show, we found out we were pregnant with baby. And that was Will's dream to have a son of his own. And look at that baby. You give that baby a beard, and they, they're identical. You can't convince Will of this. He says the baby's got green, he has blue eyes, and the baby's got green eyes. And so that right there tells him Well, you have brown eyes. I have brown eyes. What do brown and blue together make? Green. He doesn't buy that. He also thinks you've been messing around. Most, with, with your ex. With my ex, with, uh, with women, my best friend, my maid of honor, who's here with us today, and he thinks that I'm, I'm messing around with her. You've already bought your wedding dress. I have a thousand dollar wedding dress that was my grandmother's and my grandmother's dying of cancer. And we had it altered so it wouldn't fit me. I, we have our bridesmaid dresses. Your wedding cake. A wedding cake, invitations. The wedding is completely paid for. And now he's calling everything off. He says until he knows that his son is his and that I am the faithful, loyal woman that I say that I am, he doesn't want to get married. Do you love him with all of this going on? I love Will more than anything in my whole life. He stepped up as a father to my two children from a previous relationship, and he is an amazing dad, an amazing father. And Why would he turn on you this way? I think that he has doubts. He says that he's been with a lot of women and never got anyone pregnant, and the fact that I got pregnant was just either A, a miracle, or it ain't his. All right. This is what Will had to say, watch. I'm here because I honestly believe my fiance's five-month-old son, Liam, is not mine and she's cheating on me. When Linda told me she was pregnant, I was ecstatic. I could not wait to have my first child with the love of my life. Three months ago, I started to notice he looked absolutely nothing like me. I began to suspect Linda was cheating on me. I caught Linda flirting with my friend. I found strange numbers around the house and random guys were calling my phone. Linda and I are supposed to get married, but if I find out she's cheating or that Liam's not mine, the wedding's off. Here's Will. Will. Yes, sir. You don't look like that little boy. Maybe a little bit, but lots of people look like other people. Okay. I want to know why your wedding ring is on the wrong finger. Because we're not married yet. <laughs> we're going to give it back. And then I'll keep it until we get married. So you know that I'm the woman that I say that I am. All okay, right, well, that's why we're here to find out. Why do you doubt her? She talks to her ex all the time. We have a kid together. Yeah, you go to the store for milk, and a 10 minute errand takes three hours. That's not true. You think she's been with women? Yes. Well, when she was younger, she did have yeah! girlfriends. <laughs> and now, now a lot of her friends are bisexual, and she hangs well, out with them. Sometimes there's a little experiment when you're young and things like yes, that. Yes. Well, that's what I thought it was. But now she hangs out with the same people again. And really, yes. you're just friends with them, aren't you? So she says. And by the way, if this child is yours, then that's the miracle baby, I guess, right? The, you must be. All right, so first of all, we're going to have the DNA test. And then we'll do the lie detector. When it comes to five-month-old Liam, Will, you are the father. Wow. All right, here we go. You were asked if you have ever cheated on Will with his friend that he thinks Liam looks like. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. 
I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Thank you. You were asked if you ever cheated on Will with a woman. Yeah, let's see. Sorry to say this, Will. <laughs> she was telling the truth. <laughs> you were asked if you ever cheated on Will during your entire relationship with him. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> I'm sorry. says the only reason that Tony is denying her daughter is because he was cheating on his wife, Gita, doesn't want to get busted and exposed. That's his baby! That's his baby! That's his baby! I trust my husband, and if Tony says he's not the father, then he's not. Tony! Don't touch you, son. Keep watching to find out the unforgettable DNA results. shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Cassandra. Cassandra's here because she says she's 100% positive that this man, Tony, is the father of her four-month-old daughter, Sanaira. Cassandra says the only reason that Tony is denying her daughter is because he was cheating on his wife, Gita, and doesn't want to get busted and exposed, according to Cassandra. Oh! This is how angry Cassandra is. My name is Cassandra, and I'm here today to prove to a man named Tony that he is the father of my four-month-old daughter, Sanaira. Tony told his wife that he only slept with me while they were separated, but that is not true. We were sleeping together for months before they got separated, and Tony's just lying to cover his ass. Gita is a sorry excuse for a woman. She makes me sick. She called my baby ugly. She also said she looked like a monkey. No wonder why Tony cheated on her. I did not make this baby by myself. And today, I will prove that he is the father of my daughter, Sanaira. As I understand this, Cassandra, the, re the real reason why you think Tony is denying your daughter is because if he didn't deny your daughter, then he would be sleeping with you when Gita thinks he wasn't. Is exactly. that right? Yes, that's very true. We gave you a lie detector test, so we're going to find out. Yes, you did. All right. This is what they had to say. Watch this. Take a look. I know I'm not the father of Cassandra's baby scenario. Cassandra's trying to cause problems between me and my wife, Gita, but I refuse to let her lies come between us. I trust my husband, and if Tony says he's not the father, then he's not. The dates do not add up. It's impossible for that child to be mine. Cassandra said that she was sleeping with someone else, so how the hell can she be sure that Tony is the father? I have 11 kids that I know are mine, and I know Cassandra's baby isn't. Scenario looks nothing like me. Cassandra, I'm sick and tired of your childish games. When you find out that Tony is not the father, you need to take your baby and move on with your life. Here they are, Tony and Gita. Come on out. <laughs> Tony, you admitted to Gita that you were messing with her, yeah, Cassandra, told, yeah, told but her. you said that you all were kind of broken up at the time. We were separated. Right, we separated. And what Cassandra says is, it wasn't during that period, just that period. Cassandra's a liar. I'm a liar, a Tony. You a liar. Liar. I'm a liar. You're I'm a liar. liar. I'm you're a liar. Scared. So you ain't sleeping with me while she was still here? You're scared. No. See, I'm not you're talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm 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 talking to Calm down. Okay, I think I got the idea where both are coming from. I'm more interested in Tony. Tony, yeah. if you admitted to having this child, then you would be sleeping at a time your wife didn't think you were together, correct? That's correct. So that's why this child's not yours. That's right. Because not only do we have the DNA test, we got a lie detector test. Yeah. Here's a lie detector test first. This will determine when you were sleeping together. 
Cassandra, you were asked during the four months you and Tony were together, June through October, you had sexual recourse. You admitted to having sex with Tony more than 20 times. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. That's oh, Cassandra, you were asked had sexual intercourse with Tony after he and his wife, Kita, got back together in August. You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. You were asked if Tony lie on the show about what you You said yes. The lie detector determined telling the truth. Tony, if this is your child, if this is your child, you're going to be responsible for of this child. Of course I am. I'm responsible for okay. all my other children. Okay. All 11. Wow. When it comes to four-month-old Sonaira, Tony... Is Tony now the father of 12 kids? Uh, Keep watching to find out the unforgettable DNA results. No! 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 Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. My name is Cassandra, and I'm here today to prove to a man named Tony that he is the father of my four-month-old daughter, Sanaira. Tony told his wife that he only slept with me while they were separated, but that is not True. I know I'm not the father of Cassandra's baby, Sonari. Cassandra's trying to cause problems between me and my wife, Gita, but I refuse to let her lies come between us. I trust my husband, and if Tony says he's not the father, then he's not. Cassandra, you admitted to having sex with Tony more than 20 times. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. That's no! No! And now, when it comes to four-month-old Sonaira, Tony... You are not So she had to had to be my baby, right? We're not I told even, you. We're not no, I don't hear, I really don't you don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that. You brought me up here to keep sleeping. Right? You brought me. You brought me you up brought me. to New York to keep, you to keep me. sleeping you with this me. chick. You, you serious? What you serious? Yeah, I don't want to take you there. Are you serious? I told you. Stop lying. You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm dead ass serious. Oh, I'm not dead ass serious. serious. Keep watching to find out the unforgettable DNA results. No! No! <laughs> Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. Will Kendra find out her husband Richard had a baby with another woman? If he is the father, what's gonna happen? Bye bye, Bernie. Richard? No! 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 no. The fifth and sixth man tested. Which one is the father? I glad you're not the father! <laughs> and more shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. Margaret is 16. She claims that I was her first and only, but I know a couple of guys that she's been with. We're gonna find out right now. This is Tara. This is Tara's husband, Mike. This is their baby, Michaela. You don't think it adds up, do you? No. Neither does the father. Look at me, I'm black. It's not mine. They've never been unfaithful to Michael ever. Michael? Tomorrow, all of the shocking paternity test results will be revealed.
Today on Mori, families face the fallout from the truth. Kim has an infamous past of alcohol and sex with multiple men. You are not, 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 not. She's already had six unsuccessful DNA tests for her daughter, Addison. Today, she has a seventh man. He is 51 years old. 51-year-old Michael. Why would you do this to me? You were together with Yeah, we were together. She was with seven different other guys, too. Will Kim's epic search end after the results come out? Michael. You will. 24-year-old Brittany's newborn is being denied by 48-year-old Derek. We, we have sex so many times. His 22-year-old daughter claims Brittany is a gold digger. She about my same age. And I'm going to be your What will happen when the DNA results are dug up? Derek. Plus. Doctors told Betty she was unable to have children. But after she fell in love with Darius, she had a miracle baby. He says you weren't in a relationship. We was in a relationship. Darius's story is completely different. Look out, he don't look nothing like me. He claims one of the 50 men she slept with is her baby's daddy. <laughs> Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of Mari. Everyone, this is Betty. Welcome, Betty, to the show. So imagine this, because as a child, Betty grew up in foster care. She never felt loved. When she was 17, she was told she could never have children. So that shattered her dreams of having a family. But Betty says her life turned around when she met a man named Darius. And guess what? Miraculously, she got pregnant with her son, Darius Jr. So... Betty could never have imagined that not only Darius, but Darius's father, Michael, would both deny Darius Jr. Oh! I was never in a relationship with Betty. This girl is crazy. At first, I felt bad for Betty because she told me that she had cancer. And then she told me she couldn't have kids. Now, all of a sudden, Betty pops up pregnant with my baby? She was way too desperate. She was begging me to get her friend pregnant so we can build a family. I know for sure Darius Jr. is not my son. When Maury reads that I'm not the father, she's going to change his name. When I took one look at that baby, I told my son, get that kid out of my house. When you take a look at my family, we had the same nose, same eyes, same forehead, and baby Darius doesn't look nothing like any of us. Betty has sex with more than 50 men in our hometown. That baby belongs to everybody. More than 50 men? Yeah. That's a lie. Little do he know, Darius told me that he was never around for him when he was a kid. So oh. that he was Huh? Were you a, in a relationship a, with Darius? Yes, we was in a relationship. He's, I don't have sex with somebody that I'm not in a relationship with. Did you forget about that? Move along. Next. Next. He says you weren't in a relationship. We was in a relationship. We got together at exactly June, June 31st, 2012. Third and we year. ended up going to Iowa in September. Did you forget about that too, huh? And he was living, and he was living, he was living in my apartment and That's told everybody it was his. I got a brand new apartment, y'all. That was a lie. What did Michael say the first time he saw the baby? He's lost and that's not your dad. He don't look nothing like you. Yeah, he does. Of course, yeah, my son look like me all the way. I'm not going to lie. We're going to find out right now. He don't look like him. He don't look like him. He look like me, yeah. But that's his baby. I know that boy. Seventeen, you were told you couldn't have children. Yes, also I couldn't have kids, and that really that shattered my dream. Like I really, I yeah, wanted to build a family. And when I felt that I was pregnant, what do you do? Uh, you got to get rid of that baby. You got to have an abortion. You think I'm gonna have an abortion? I don't think so. You know the plan. He wasn't there at the birth. He wasn't there. I said I called him. Like, I'm in so much pain. But why did you name him Darius Jr.? Because I, I know that's his baby. I know that for a fact. I know that's his baby. What did you find out on Instagram? 
He got all these pictures. He got all these pictures of all three of his daughters. Oh, good morning from the Johnson family. Good morning from the Johnson family. The Johnson girls, the Johnson this, the Johnson that. But you don't got no picture of my baby when you was sitting at my house, laying in my bed, laying in my bed with my son going to sleep together. Well, we're going to meet Darius and Darius' Please father, do. Michael. Here Please they do. are. Come on. Where you at? Show me that shirt. What's that say? T T H O T. What does that mean? That hole over there. Betty, if you're so confident that he is the father of your child, you prove it to him. Let me talk to him. You can go ahead and talk to that side over there. Because he. <laughs> you're a thought. You're a thought. That side you're over thought. there that slept with over you're 60 thought. women without a condom. Oh, I got a fat. I got a fat so, year old. Oh, eh? where's she at? Because you do. I do. do yes, I do. You're a dead no, 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 you're a dead Let me talk to Let this guy explain himself. He don't got nothing to explain. I do got some nice plans. You got some nice plans. One word. You just mad I don't take care of him. I take care of my other ones. And my, what am I mad for? What am I mad for? My, my baby fresher than you ever be. What have you, you done for this be. child? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. This child has your, your name. I know, but that's not mine. Look at him. He don't look nothing like me. He look like me, of course. I understand. He it, gave his good looks from his mama. He gave his good looks from his mama. Because right. you ain't look nothing. You look ain't nothing, this. baby. Look at this. Darius. It's okay. Darius. You sit down. Do your other sit kids down. look like you? That's yes, okay. exactly like me. These are my other ones right here. Exactly like me. Exactly. Exactly. His girls, his girls right here. But he claims exactly. that one. He claims this one right here wasn't even his. He claims that one wasn't even his. Exactly like me. Exactly like me. What do you got, my baby? Nothing. 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 What do you think of his father? His father? Darius told me in Iowa, let me just explain this. Darius told me in Iowa, his daddy didn't do nothing for him when he was a kid. Let's just inform really him. Oh, you got the shoes I bought oh, yes, you, Yes, I do got the shoes you got on the that shoes you bought me. You know? Right. You got Have the shoes I bought you. you got the Everybody, here's Darius's father, Michael. Michael, come on Him. That baby looks nothing like him. That baby looks nothing like him. My baby looks like me. Michael, looks for me. That's still not it. He gets Betty, look sit down. Not you be quiet, Betty. You've talked a lot. I want to talk to Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down. Sit down. She loves Michael, would you do the first time you saw that child? I told him to take the baby out the house because that's not his baby. That's it. It wasn't his baby. I mean, my audience is going to say, that's a terrible thing to say. I know. Look at him. That is. That is. That is. That is. But you didn't do nothing for your son when he was a kid. I did. Who told you that? He did. Your own son. That's the one next to you. Who pays, who pays Darius, who pays are you going to be in this child's home? life if, if, if it's if your If he's mad, I'll be, I'm there, I'm all. Hold on, wait, let me tell you something. I said, I said, if I'm he's yours, there. when you exactly. find out he's yours, what you going to do? Oh, the same thing I'm doing now? Oh. That was it. Who takes care of his kids? Wait a minute. Who takes care of his kids? Wait a minute, but when we talk, when we talk, after we got done with the kids. We're going to find out.
money, but I got twenty dollars right here. You can have. You can have this twenty dollars if he not if he not the father. You take that twenty dollars. Whether it's whether he is the father or not the father, you spend the twenty on Darius. You gonna need it. That's right. Right. That's, you gonna need it. You gonna need it. Don't 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 sign this job. Don't sign this job. Don't sign this job. Don't sign this job. When it comes to five month old Darius Jr., Darius. The DNA test results will set this story straight. Darius. Coming up later this hour. Kim has an infamous past of alcohol and sex with multiple men. You are not, not, <laughs> not, not. She's already had six unsuccessful DNA tests for her daughter, Addison. Today, she has a seventh man. He is 51 years old. 51-year-old Michael. Oh, would you do this to me? You were together? With yeah, we were together. She was with seven different other guys, too. <laughs> Will Kim's epic search end? after the results come out. Michael. You knew. He's a liar. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of Mark. Everyone, welcome Kim back to the show. Now, over the last six months, Kim has appeared on our show four times in a desperate attempt to find the fathers of her two children, six-month-old Nicholas and one-year-old Addison. <laughs> Although Kim has been devastated by past paternity test results, she has continued her search for the sake of her children. <laughs> Before we find out why Kim is back today, take a look at her journey on the show. Kim's desperate search for the father of her two children has been heartbreaking. I had a sex and alcohol addiction. Seven different men have now taken 11 DNA tests. Not, not, <gasps> not, not, <laughs> not, 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 not the father. <laughs> and yet Kim does not know who the fathers of Addison and Nicholas are. Kim is back today with the eighth man to be tested. Will she finally find her baby's father? I just can't do this anymore. So, Kim is back to test 51-year-old Michael for her daughter, Addison. Now, although Kim admits she's been wrong in the past, she thinks Michael is the last possibility she could be the father. And she's demanding he step up. But now, after everything we've seen about you, you're mad at him. Why? You know what? When he sits there and he comes into my house, after the fact that I told him that he is a possibility, he walks in my house, looks at my daughter, looks at me. I told him, since he was 10 months, I had to go on Facebook to get a proper number from him. Around. I want your proper number. I've got some news for you. You know? That's you know my what? baby. That's not my baby. baby. You knew I had two months. Two months. That's not my baby. Kim. Kim. That's not my child. I'm tired. I'm tired. Sit, sit down, Kim. Kim. Seven sit. different men. So, after the last show. Are you the last after the last show? Or what? My what happened after the last show when you went home? What happened after the last show, Mark? I was devastated. I went home. I had a depression, a depression stage. I could not take the fact that I, my baby girl is looking for her dad. She sits there in Walmart, Sears, daddy, daddy, daddy. I cannot take it anymore. She wants her dad, and I'm going to find her father. You think they look alike? Hell yeah, I'm going to look at this. Oh. You. I'm 22, Maury. You're 22 years old. He is 51 years old. It don't matter. Maury, I went through a daddy phase. I went through a really big rebellion phase. A 
daddy phase? Yes, a daddy phase. You went through some other phases too, yes. all those guys you brought on the show. I had a alcoholic sex addiction. I had a daddy phase. You know what? When I was young, I was stupid. I was rebellious, but I got two beautiful gifts. Yes, out. you did. Now, you're still trying to find the father of your six-month-old son, right? Yes. I'm still searching, and I will continue searching so that my but kids But you will think know that the truth. this is the guy for yes. Addison? This is the guy for Addison! This is him! I guarantee you! This what? is what yes. Michael yes. had to say. I Watch. Noise. I want to hear from you. I am coming to the Moore Show to clear my name. I am not Addison's father. Kim has tested almost a dozen guys. She doesn't know who her baby belongs to. I had no idea how many guys she had been with before me, and that's why we're not together. Kim waited almost two months to tell me that I might be the father. When I saw that little girl, I was speechless. She looked nothing like me. I don't feel sorry for Kim at all. She can sell that sex and addiction crap to somebody else. I'm not buying it. Kim has gone down in more history as a woman that will never find her child's father. Because this guy right here is not the father. Here's Michael. Take a look at the baby, that one-year-old, Addison, and what you walk right out. There's you know what what's wrong my baby? It looks nothing looks like me. Looks like he walks out of my house out of work. You know what? You don't walk in my house. You don't disrespect okay. me. You don't disrespect my right, child. You definitely don't facts. walk out with hey, all hey, that. Hey, hey, let's talk about facts. Okay. You, you were together with her. Yeah, we were together. She was with seven different other guys, too. Oh. You know what? None of that's all over. You know what? You need to own what, up to the fact you have a child out there. What happens if this is your child? I'll take care of the child like any man should. You take care of you take care That's not my baby, Kim. Oh, really? Look at the baby. We have the answer right here. Yeah, I'm breathing out loud, Mori. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's right. Once and for all. Once and for all. Yeah, and then you'll be paid for it for the next 18 years. Yeah, that's all you're after anyhow. When it comes to one-year-old Addison, Michael, you are not. Nothing from the fact that you're a great mother. You care for these if kids. If I was a great mother, why is this happening to my kids? Honey, don't blame your kids. Don't blame yourself. Okay? You take care of your kids, don't you? All right? Okay? And they'll love you more for it. Well, find the father of your kids and take care of them. What have I been trying to do this whole time? You act like I haven't been trying to do anything. I want more than ever to find my child's kids. No, you need to keep trying. Those kids deserve that, don't you think? 24-year-old Brittany's newborn is being denied. 
by 48-year-old Derek. We, we oh. had sex so many times. Oh. His 22-year-old daughter claims Britney is a gold digger. She my same age. And I'm going to be your What will happen when the DNA results are dug up? Derek. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of March. Everyone, this is Brittany. Welcome, Brittany, to the show. Now, Brittany, Brittany is 24 years old, and after a string of failed relationships with men her own age, Brittany thought she had found a mature man when she met 48-year-old Derek. Now, Brittany and Derek quickly fell in love, they even planned their first child, one-month-old Riley. But when Brittany was two months pregnant, she says Derek did the unthinkable. He kicked her out of the house and began to deny that he was the father. Now, today, Derek and his 22-year-old daughter, Tangela, want to uncover the DNA truth. Watch this. When I first met Brittany, I thought she was a woman of my dreams. Until a 12-year-old in the neighborhood told me I was not the father. Three-week-old baby Riley is not my daughter. I have proof that she was sleeping with another man once she was sleeping with me. I know I'm twice her age, but I never thought I had to deal with her childish games. I never seen this child, and I never did sign the birth certificate. I already had two daughters to take care of. Brittany will never be my stepmother, and her daughter Riley will never be my sister. I'm the only daddy's girl in this equation. She's just a gold digging whore who is young and unstable. We are practically the same age. Brittany, stop lying to yourself. I can't wait till Maury tells you my daddy is not the father. What do you think about that? She have no business telling me. Why do you think? Why do you? Why do you? Why do you think? Take several seats. Why do you think? Why do you think she's saying all this? Because she, she don't want me and her father together because we are the same age. This has nothing to do with age. <laughs> Brittany, what you got to say Brittany, about that? Wait a second. What you got Brittany, to say about Brittany, that? Sit down, Brittany. No. Brittany, uh -uh. Brittany, you say that this guy begged you to have a baby. Yes, he begged me to have a baby. Yeah, I begged you to have a baby, but then again, you said you slept baby. with somebody else a week We after. had sex so many times. <laughs> Wait a second, wait a second. So, so let me get this straight. All these flexible positions were in order to have a baby? Yes. Yes, Maury. Yes, it's that By the serious, way, Maury. Did, yeah. he, did, he, did Derek call you last night? Yes, he did call me last night. Then. Yes, he did, Maury. What did he say? He said he wants to work on a son, work on having another son. You, you, you bring me all the way to this show out the results of my one month old but you want to work on the sun really 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 think they look alike yeah yes they do look alike more the eyes look at their eyes more look at their eyes it's identical look at this You want to be with Derek? Yes, I want to be with him. Yes, yes, I want to be and with him. And guess what, everybody? If this is his child, Derek yeah. wants to be with her. Yes, he does. He does. Because they want to make a son. Yes, we want to make a son. We want to make a son, but his daughter needs to stay out of our business. Yeah. She needs to sit down somewhere. She needs to sit down somewhere. Here they are. We're going to be Derek together. Derek and Tangela. Yeah. Welcome. Her. She about my same age. She about my age. She about me. She 
your picture down, down just somewhere. Money. Sit down. It's about being a gold Stay digger, is that it? Exactly. Stay out of these. What's it's not you feel. It's not you, baby. Look at this, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at this right here, man. This ain't look nothing like this baby, man. You know what I'm saying? That baby got a fat face, man. Come on, man. Look at here, man. This is the Laurie Show. Okay, wait, 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 You know, at some time, we've all been fooled, right? Where's the envelope? But Derek, you want to be the father of this little girl, don't you? I do. I do. I'm not going to You want to be it. with Brittany, don't you? I, yeah, true. If it's your yeah. child. And I'm going to be your mom. How, how's, that gonna, mom too. how's that going to play? Yeah. Brittany, I'm sit wrong. down. I'm wrong. Brittany, you ain't, baby, you, like you a little girl. You You're so sure, Brittany. Want, don't you want to hear the answer? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Maury. I'm go. ready for this. When it yeah. comes to one-month-old Riley, Derek, you are the father. <laughs> This woman is 100% sure her estranged husband is the father of her son because they have identical feet. They got the same pudgy feet. I don't see no resemblance. Same feet. Same feet. And her mother is fed up. You need to stay out. You put me in. Will the DNA test results actually save this marriage? Everett. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of Mark. Everyone, this is Crystal. Welcome, Crystal, to the show. Now, I'm telling you right now, this is a story that will prove to anybody that two wrongs do not make a right. Crystal had a two-year marriage to her now estranged husband, Everett. She says he cheated on her more than ten times. So you know what this means. It's a revenge from Crystal. She went and cheated on him. But that one indiscretion has blown up in Crystal's face because now Everett is denying he's the father of their seven-month-old son, Caden. But Crystal and her mother, Shelly, say Everett is 100% the father. My marriage to my husband Everett was built on nothing but lies. He cheated on me 10 times, and as much as I tried to save my marriage, nothing ever worked. I was down, I felt worthless, so I sought comfort in another man. But I was already pregnant when I slept with that other man. Now I'm frustrated because I have two kids. And the only thing Everett is good at is denying our seven month old son, Caden. He hasn't done a damn thing for our first child, Elizabeth, either. My baby looks just like him. They have the same white, pudgy feet. Thank God I can count on my mother. Everett ought to be ashamed of himself. He refuses to step up and be a man, and I'm tired of it. I change the diapers. I wipe the tears. He does nothing. Everett, you failed my daughter as a husband. But I will not let you fail as a father to my grandson. Oh. You were with him five years. Why is this so hurtful? It hurts, Maury, because I have two kids that need a father in their life. They need their father. 
Wait a minute. He accepts the older child, right? Yes, because she looks just like him. And because my son came out white, he don't want to claim him. But how, that don't mean it ain't his baby. How about the feet? They got the same pudgy feet. The same feet. Look at this. Look. Look at their toenails. Look at that. Their toenails are fat. They got his feet are white. What else do they have? What else do they have that's the same? They got fat cheeks. Okay. So you're estranged? Yes. Do you want to be with him? No. No. <laughs> Not just because well, the why, son. What do you think is the real reason he's denying this child? Because I slept with somebody else. But you slept with this other person after you were pregnant? After I found out I was pregnant. Uh, and that's we what worked she says. together. We, I split up with him. Because? Because he wouldn't change and wouldn't step up for the child we already had. So, I, you're right. I'm who a good is father. it that stepped in to take care of your little boy? My mother. Does everything. She don't do nothing. She takes on the bed. Everything. She don't get to play grandma. That's right. Shelly, you like this guy? No, I don't. Why not? Because he has done nothing but hurt my daughter since she got He has never took care of her. I have to be you know, the dad. You know, he's, he says he does take care of the kids. He's a liar. This is what Everett had to say. I regret the day I married Crystal. Crystal tries to act like she's innocent, but I had to find out from her own friend that she cheated. Now she's trying to say I'm Caden's father. Not happening. Caden looks nothing like me. He has blonde hair and blue eyes. I'm Native American and Hispanic. This baby belongs to a white man. We already have a daughter, Elizabeth, and I'm a damn good father to her. But I haven't done anything for Caden because I'm not getting attached to another man's child. And as for her mother, Shelly, she needs to stay the hell out of our business. If she did a better job at raising her daughter, Crystal would have been a better wife. Here's Everett. Because it's none of her business. She says it's she does everything for this baby, but she don't. Why are you so mad at her if she says you're the one who was cheating all the time? Because she cheated on me. I had to find out from her friend. We weren't together. We were split. She left you. We were she split. threw you out. Let's get the result. You'll take care of this child if it's yours. Of course. He better. He better. When it comes to seven-month-old Caden Everett, will the DNA test results actually save this marriage? Everett. <laughs> Doctors told Betty she was unable to have children. But after she fell in love with Darius, she had a miracle baby. Darius's story is completely different. Look at him, he don't look nothing like me. He claims one of the 50 men she slept with is her baby's daddy. I'm the best mother ever that takes care of that The DNA test results will set this story straight. Darius. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of March. My marriage to my husband Everett was built on nothing but lies. And the only thing Everett is good at is denying our seven month old son, Caden. I regret the day I married Crystal. Now she's trying to say I'm Caden's father. Not happening. Caden looks nothing like me. And as for her mother, Shelly, she needs to stay the hell out of our business. If she did a better job at raising her daughter, Crystal would have been a better wife. When it comes and to seven-month-old Caden Everett, you are the father. Doctors told Betty she was unable to have children.
But after she fell in love with Darius, she had a miracle baby. He says you weren't in a relationship. We was in a relationship. Darius' story is completely different. Look out, he don't look nothing like me. He claims one of the 50 men she slept with is her baby's daddy. I'm the best mother ever that takes care of me. The DNA test results will set this story straight. Darius. He's a liar. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of Mark. I was never in a relationship with Betty. I know for sure Darius Jr. is not my son. When Maury reads that I'm not the father, she's going to change his name. That's your baby. That's your baby. And that's your grandson. That's not my baby. Oh, 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 oh. This child has your, your name. I know, but that's not mine. Look at him. He don't look nothing like me. Oh, that baby looks nothing name. like him. What did you do the first time you saw that child? I told him to take the baby out the house because that's not his baby. <laughs> When it comes to five-month-old Darius Jr., Darius, you are the father. Proved That's it, okay? He will be the child is five months old. The child is not five years old. The child is five months old. He will get into But I told you, life. ever since we've been in a relationship, I've never cheated on you. I've never cheated on you. Darius is the father of Darius Jr. I take the little money that I have just to do for him. You know that. But can he repair his relationship with Betty? But you should have known I never cheated on you, ever. The backstage drama is next. He's a liar. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of Mark. Moments ago, Darius accused Betty of sleeping with over 50 men. More than 50 men? Yeah. That's a lie. And denied her son, Darius Jr. This child has your name? I know, but look out, he don't look nothing like me. He get it from me. His father, Michael, saw zero resemblance. I told him to take the baby out the house because that's not his baby. When the DNA results were read, you are the father. <laughs> Betty released all of the pain she had been harboring inside. The child is five months old. He will get into But I told you, I've How never cheated on you. you. After the show, executive producer Paul Fallhaber brought everyone together. I'll take the little money that I have just to do for him. You know that. Let's be honest here. Were you the best father to him growing yes, up? Yes, I was. You? Yes, so, I, I was there. Good. Every time he called, I was there. Yeah, Do you agree with that? What he just said? Let's be honest. It's it like we're gonna be real. I'm, I'm be honest. It wasn't, it wasn't, it was it wasn't perfect. It, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't no. perfect. Did it hurt you? It, it did. So you know how it feels to have a father, and you know how it feels not, not, not to, to have, have a father, one, right? Yeah. Betty feared that Darius was following in Michael's footsteps with their own son. Yes, when was yeah. the last time you saw him? Last week. Last week? He hold him. He, they sleep in the same. They sleep together and everything. He said me love, but then we had to do all this, though. That's what hurt me. We had to do all this. And I told I told you three things you just had to do. I just had to beat up him, come to the baby shower, and beat up for the birth. You couldn't even do that. Darius's denial of Darius Jr. was hard for Betty to let go of. But you should have known I never cheated on you, ever. Not to mention his accusations that she cheated on him with over 50 men. All y'all was pumping that stuff in his head. It's oh, over. she a hoe. It's she over. this and she that. It's over. I'm sorry. You got to take that shirt off. You got to rip that shirt up. Hopefully Darius and Michael can earn Betty's trust back. He going to be taken care of, so you ain't got to worry about that. And Darius Jr. will grow up with a strong family behind him. I want to thank all of my guests for appearing today. I want to thank everybody who watches The Maury Show every day. I want to thank my live studio audience. Thank you. Until next time, America, thank you.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>